Hi everybody! Hello! We're back again, it's Saturday morning and Noah's been off school for the whole week. Um, so I hope you've had a good week, I hope you had some good time at home and I hope you've been doing your schoolwork. Um, we're going to do another story this morning and tell you about another activity sheet that you can do to keep you busy on this Saturday. Uh, we've had some really good responses and some good messages about our last video. So thank you for those if you watch them um, and hopefully you. you'll enjoy today's video too. Today, what story are we doing Noah? Is it, is it David and Goliath? Yes, it's David and Goliath. Now, we haven't got any puppets really that suit a David and Goliath story, have we? Well, I did look in my cupboard but... Show me what puppets you found. Well, this is Goliath. And okay, yeah. he's a big puppet. He's um just stuck his face with bits too much cake. Right. And this is little David. Okay, so we've got a big puppet for Goliath <laughs> and a little puppet for David. Okay. Well, have we got somebody who's gonna tell us the story? Well Buddy's gonna tell us the story as always. Hello everybody! Okay, so Buddy's gonna tell us the story. Let's listen to the story of David and Goliath. One day, David was looking after his dad's sheep as usual when he heard his dad calling. His dad wanted David to take some sandwiches to his three older brothers who were away fighting in King Saul's army. David did as he was told. Cool! What an amazing sight! When David came to the army's camp, he was amazed at the sight. One hill was covered with King Saul's army and on the other hill was the Philistine army. David searched for his brothers. David found his brothers but just at that moment there was a tremendous noise and a giant stepped forward from the Philistine camp. He must have been about 10 feet tall. I am Goliath, tall and mighty. Who is brave enough to fight me? Not one of King Saul's soldiers was brave enough to fight the giant. But they were all talking about the big prize that the king would give the soldier that managed to kill Goliath. He asked his brothers. His brothers laughed and said it had nothing to do with him. He was just a boy and should go back to looking after his sheep. But David didn't go home. He marched straight into the king's tent and said, I'll fight the giant for you. I've killed a lion and a bear that tried to attack my sheep. And I was not afraid because God looked after me. But the king laughed and said that the young boy could never beat such a big giant. But King Saul gave David some armour, a helmet and a sword, and David put them on. But they were much too big. I can't wear these. Can't even walk in them. So David took them off again. Instead, David went down to the stream and collected five stones and put them in his pocket. My swing is all I need to fight lions and bears. With God's help, I can fight this giant too. David went to meet with Goliath. The giant towered over him. I am Goliath, tall and mighty. Who is brave enough to fight me? fight me with that stick? You'll need more than that to fight me. Goliath lumbered towards David. David grabbed a stone from his pocket and put it in his sling. David swung his sling 
and let the stone fly through the air. The stone hit Goliath right between the eyes and he crashed to the ground. King Saul's army cheered and the Philistine army ran away and the young shepherd boy David was a hero. <laughs> Right, okay, so that was the story of David and Goliath. Now, uh, we're going to do a little quiz again to see whether you've been listening to the story. So, Noah, are you ready to give me the answers to the quiz? Okay, so the first question was, what was it that David was doing when his dad called him to take the sandwiches to his brother? Can you remember what David was doing when his dad called him to take the sandwiches? Let's give the people at home a chance to... Have a think. He was looking after the sheep in the oh, field. I was going to say that, but I was He was a ahead. shepherd. Right, second question then. What was the name of the army that the King Saul's army was fighting? What were they called? Is it? Hold it? on. Can you remember what the th name of the army was that the King Saul's army was fighting? No. I know began with P. P, yeah. Presley. It was the Philistine. It was the Philistine army that King Saul was fighting. Okay, the third question then. How tall was Goliath? Ten feet. Didn't even give you a chance to have a go. Ten feet tall, that's right. Oh. So the next question is, how many stones did David take to kill the giant? Can you remember at home how many stones David took from the stream in order to kill the giant? I did think at home. Right, Noah, can you remember? Was it five? Five stones, that's right, well done. Hope you got some of those questions right at home. If you want to uh, do some more activities based around that, we've got another sheet for you to download today. You can download this sheet from the St George's URC More Plus Facebook site, and uh, there's a maze to do on there, and there's some anagrams if you like playing around with words. So have a go downloading the sheet and seeing whether you can uh, complete those puzzles on there. I apologise that last week was back to front. Like, it was on the camera, but it wasn't in real life. So when you see it, it will always be back to front, but in your real life, it won't be. That's right. Hi, we've come out into the garden to show you how you can play a game based on the story of David and Goliath. Now, uh, what you need to do is to mark out on the pavement a square like we've done here. Noah's got five stones like the five stones that David took. And what he's going to do is he's going to stand uh, a bit away from the square. Go and stand a bit away from the square now. That way, over there. And with his five stones, he's going to try to knock the big stone out of the square. And we're going to see whether he can do it with five stones. It's like bowling. There are some things in life that seem just too big for us to battle against. A bit like Goliath in the story of David and Goliath. The coronavirus is one of those things. It seems whatever anyone does, the virus comes to threaten us. Uh, the Israelites thought Goliath uh, could never be defeated. Um, and each day he would taunt Saul's army saying, you'll never defeat me. But David have, had faith in God. And with just five stones, he approached the giant knowing God would keep his promise. 
And that's good for us too, isn't it? To remember that although the coronavirus seems like it will never be defeated, that actually we have faith in God, that God uh, can do amazing things, just as he allowed David to kill the giant Goliath. Okay, so we'll be back again later on in the week. Uh, have a good week um, and we shall see you again soon.